What is up everyone? My name is Jonathan. Thank you for joining me for another YouTube tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. Today we are creating the letter M in part of our alphabet series. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when all of these Adobe Illustrator files will be available to download. Make sure to hit the like button before you leave. Everything about me is in the description below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Thank you for joining me. Let's get started. Once you have Adobe Illustrator open, we're going to start by just grabbing these rectangle tool and we're going to click and drag this over something about there. We're going to swap these colors around and we're going to ditch the stroke. We're going to create a copy of this somewhere is about over there. We're going to create click, hold, alt and shift and create another copy. We're going to make this one like blue. Oops. Get off the stroke, change the fill to like a blue just so we can see it. Click on this and then right here, it might be hidden behind the scale tool. You have the shear tool. Click on that and click and drag this over until you have the desired angle that you want. And I want something about there sure we can hold control and click and drag this over so it locks onto that anchor point over there so it's exactly even perfectly lined up and now we're going to right click on this one go down to transform reflect horizontally and then we want to copy now holding shift drag this over we can Hold control, click on this anchor point down here and lock that onto there. Same thing with this guy, we can lock this onto right there. And now that we have both of our shapes, all four pieces of our M, we can assign colors. So we're going to do a gradient. We're going to start with, let's start with a yellow. Then this side will go to the green and then select this piece you can grab that gradient and then you can grab so we're going to go from yellow to green green to so we actually need to change this color we're going to pick the pink color and then we can grab this piece we can do the same gradient and now we're going to change the green because we're going to go from pink to pink to and we'll choose blue and then we can grab this one grab the same gradient and now we're going to go from blue blue to we'll do, oops. We'll do red now we just need to change the gradients. Something like so. Grab this one. Something like so. Grab this one. That's some serious green right there. So now what we need to do, since these are the same colors, we need to add some definition. So we're going to create a copy of this layer by hitting Control C, Control Shift V, and now hit Control Left Bracket until it goes below this layer. That's moving that layer back one. Now go over here and select a new gradient. We're going to change the white to 0% and change the black to Usually 50 or 60% works pretty good. And now we can grab G and we can put this gradient exactly where we want. That looks good. And then we need to do the same thing for this one because there should be a little bit of a shadow here if the light's coming from this way. So control C, control shift V, control left bracket. For that one, it was twice. If you go too far, you can just hit control right bracket. The bracket keys are below the plus and minus signs next to the enter key on your keyboard. If you're using a PC, if you're using a Mac, I'm sorry, I have no idea where those keys are. Now you can just hit your eyedropper tool and grab the last gradient that you just used over there. Hit G. 
just needs to be dragged the other way. About something like that. Grab this one, control switch. Control shift C, move below that one. Grab the eyedropper tool. That actually looks pretty good. We're gonna leave that alone. And we can group these together. That way they're easier to move around. We're just gonna center it up and you're done. That concludes today's video. Thank you for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. The little button that'll pop up here. If you want more content like this, make sure to click on one of these links. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for joining me. God bless. Stay safe and we will see you in the next video.